Hey guys, it's Summer. Okay, so today I'm just going to hopefully make this a quick video, but I wanted to go through my June empties, products that I used up, and just give a quick little review on them so that you know whether or not you should purchase them or not, if you care what I think. You may not, and that's totally okay with me. So the first product is this Method um, Sweet Water Scented Hand Wash, and I bought this from Costco years ago, literally got like a refillable container this big, and it lasted us so long, almost too long. You get kind of tired of scents after a while, and that happened with this scent. I love Method. I love their, their stuff, but that scent, I just need a break from. So I'll always buy Method hand washes. I'll just probably keep trying new scents. I used up this Giovanni. 3-in-1, um, it's shampoo, body wash, and bubble bath. I think that's weird for adults to have a 3-in-1. So I only use this as a body wash. No, I use this as a shaving cream. I use this to shave my legs and I loved it. The smell, it smells like an orange creamsicle, just like it says. It's, it's yummy, but it's, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd buy it again just because I want something new to smell. In the summer. I love Giovanni products. I really love this and I would highly recommend it and I might even purchase it again just not next. I'm going to try something different. I used up this Obagi foaming gel face wash and I'm not impressed. I've I've brought this out a few times. A friend gave me um, handed down the line to me. It didn't work for her either and my face just broke out. I don't know if there's something in this product that I don't like, my or my skin doesn't like, but yeah, wasn't a fan. So I don't really think I would ever purchase these products just because my skin doesn't like it. The same can be said for this Acure Cleansing Gel Facial Cleanser. I thought I really liked it, and then just the more I used it, the more my face broke out. And I don't think it's necessarily that the product is bad. I think I just have really sensitive skin. And I can't figure out what the ingredient is that my skin reacts to. But um, I'm really bummed because this was an affordable face wash. And it's really healthy and good for your skin. If your skin isn't mad at it. So I got mine on Vitacost. I won't purchase it again because it made me break out. But... That shouldn't stop you from trying it out. We just might have different skin types. I also used up this Cover FX Mattifying Primer, and I really, really loved this product. I actually did not break out hardly at all when I used this, but I have to say that it didn't keep me matte. I still would find that I need, I would get shiny, and I would need to powder, and that was the primary reason I wanted to buy this, was not so much to clear up my breakouts, but to keep me from getting shiny. And it's kind of pricey, so I don't know that I'll buy it again, maybe way, way in the future, but right now I'm really trying to find something else that will keep me matte. My kids used up this Kids Spry Toothpaste. This is tooth gel with xylitol and this is the original flavor. They really liked it. Both my kids used it. It's fluoride free, safe to swallow, um, and I got this one on Vitacost. So I'm glad that I finally found them a toothpaste that they both like. They don't like minty toothpaste so I have to find the right flavor. So this is a good toothpaste and I will keep buying it as long as they keep using it. Then I have this Paula's Choice Clear Anti-Redness Exfoliating Solution. This has 2% salicylic acid. This is just like a luxury sample thing that they sent me with an order. Um, I, may have, I may have paid like $3 for the sample set. But I really liked it. I don't know if it kept me from breaking out or if it worked on my breakouts. I can't remember, but I know that I didn't break out from it, so that's a bonus. I don't know that I'll buy it, I but I don't know that I won't. So how's that for you? How's that for a review? And I used up my Paula's Choice, the Resist BHA9. I really, really love this product. I just, it's so hard to spend the $30 or $40 on something so small. 
So I'm taking a break from it right now. I want to see if my skin stays clear without it, that maybe I don't need to spend an additional $30 to $40. I'm trying to be minimalistic with my skincare, my hair care, my clothes, everything. Just, I don't know, I think going to the Dominican Republic and coming back, I'm like kind of sickened a little bit at how much I have and it just feels kind of gross. That has nothing to do with Paula's choice. It's just that I don't want to have a whole bunch of products if I'm skin and my body really doesn't need it. So this is on the shelf for now. Um, actually, this is in the trash because it's empty, but I haven't repurchased it. And then the last thing I use up, and this is actually a funny thing to show you, but it's this floss, this gum brand floss. But the reason I wanted to say this and show you is because my dentist says that the thin, waxy, like you know the one that just slides in, easy glide or whatever, <laughs> that sounds bad. I don't know what they call it, that kind of floss. She says doesn't really get the plaque out of your teeth and that you need the gritty, thick kind of floss. So um, this is the one that they always give me. It's www.gumbrand.com. They didn't send that to me. I'm just doing a little advertisement for free. But so I have been using this floss and ever since I switched to this floss, I have not had any cavities and that is a big deal because I inherited some bad teeth from my parents. Those are the products that I used up for the month of June and you know what's funny is I don't think I'm repurchasing any of them except for my kids toothpaste. Not because they weren't great but either because they just didn't work for my skin type or it was just an excessive product that maybe I didn't need. There you have it. There's what I used, my mini reviews and Liked it. If you guys like these videos, let me know. Um, I love watching other people's videos, but it seems as though my empties videos don't get as many views. So I don't know, maybe this isn't your thing, but I would like to know that. So just let me know your thoughts on empties videos and how you feel. We talk about feelings here. It's okay. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.